Hey guys, uh, Alex from The Disciples here with a first place LLDS deck profile featuring who? Alex Moffat. Uh, what did you play today? I played the amazing deck which is True Draco with only a few fuckers. Just a few. Just a few. Okay. Alright, we'll get into the list. Great. Okay, so starting off with the main deck. Played the, the standard lineup one dynamite, three Ignis, and two Maiden. This is just pretty much standard, I'd say. You always want to see one. There's no reason not to, to max out on, on all the good ones I got from, I guess. Too many Majesty would be kind of too many, so I'd say this is like a perfect number. And then for the last two monsters, played two Inspector Border. Uh, this card is just a floodgate in itself, obviously. It's just like applies so much pressure 2000 attack, 2000 defense. It doesn't collide too much with the, the other floodgates since you can uh, change your place based on whether or not you draw this card or not. And still going second into a lot of the decks like uh, old guys. As long as you don't have a fat negate board, so going second this card still is amazing and a huge problem for decks like that to deal with. And I uh, didn't play any hand traps. I like the idea about Ghost Ogre being able to normal summon it, but if you're talking, you know, cards you're going to normal summon turn one, I'm, I'd much rather summon an Inspector Border rather than a Ghost Ogre. Yeah. And then the draw cards, three Demise, three Duality, and then two Desires. Very standard again, but only two Desires just because I don't like three too much in this deck. There's too many cards you need to search. And then for the other ones, Free Diagram and free Terraforming. I still think it's important to, to max these out, at least in, in your main deck. So you have ability to search the card you need. And then stand up with the spells. Three and three on both of them. Never play less. And traps, again, max out on the ones that are not limited. And then a couple of these. These are insane because of the amount of... Um, versatility it can provide which gives you more options the more options you have the better your your place can be so this card gives you amazing two options and obviously there's the, some games when you have four monsters so you uh, can use it to draw five. draw five just hope they don't have oh, it's game and the floodgates skill so one skill drain free rivalry and then two goes in so this is all, oh, the win condition of the win deck, condition. really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rivalry is obviously fine. The only card it collides with is, is border. But like I said, you can change your place based on whether like, you draw border or yeah. not. And then skill drain is obviously skill drain. And then goes in again. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, you just you know you can't summon Majesty and, and Dynamite. And we have three copies of Ignis. So normally, if you're like pushing for for game under this, you can easily um, just summon more and more Ignises, and that's not going to collide at all in the slides. Yeah. And then high deck. So I wanted to play 15 trap cards <laughs> in the rest of the deck, but I was worried about Goki. I mean, I'm not mending any hand traps, but I was just like, the, the Goki isn't as popular as you'd think it would be in the, the UK, at least in the South yeah. anyway. So, you know, if, <laughs> I, if I lose to it, I lose to it. So yeah. I'd rather it happens, just happens, be other decks. But, but, yeah. uh, free wire tap. This is probably the best card in, in the side deck uh, to deal with trap decks such as the Mirror and mainly Alter Guys because it has a big showing at these events apparently. <laughs> and then Free Evenly, which I never actually decided today, but it's it, it can obviously do bits. And then oh. Free Anti Spell, more Floodgates because that's our win condition here. Skillful UK. Yeah. For more like spell based decks such as uh, Invoked and. Um, Sky Pendulum and, and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. And then for the Goki, I don't think I'd decide it in against any other deck, but didn't play any Goki, so that's fine. <laughs> and then the last, the one offs. Uh, so these two for, for going first against, I guess, most decks, another card to stop uh, evenly in Red Reboot. And then the third goes in for the, the ones where it really hits, such as Altergeist. Yeah, we hate you, Ripper. <laughs> and then this is where it gets really, really oh, interesting spice. is the extra deck. The extra so the spice. only real card in the extra deck is this. Yeah. You know, rank five, uh, lots of damage, Toolboxing, especially in time. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Might and then well. so to counter the the dinosaur matchup is really difficult because uh, they leave you with a token, and the token is really hard to out. I mean, ignoring the fact that we have guys we can just tribute some of the token yeah. with. You never know. Or you might not draw it. Yeah. So we need to play cards that it's the cards that out the token. token. Yeah. So in case we go for a long game against Dino when they're resolving Lost they World, many a times why well. not play all of these. And then just in, you know, there's other times some, when you have two inspector borders from setting one, yeah. and they happen to have an ultimate falcon. Well, like, at least I have an out of my deck. It. I didn't have the 
the rank five or whatever it was for the you make. So yeah. that was my only other out, so I had to play it, obviously. Of course, of course. And then for the Infernoid matchup, in case they ever summon Tierra, I want to have this. targets to do stuff. Yeah. Uh, I would have played Freentis, but I don't have Freentis. It's apparently a really hard card to get. Yeah. So the two Omegas had to do, but, you know, shuffling back two Infernoids and popping a card would be quite cool. But obviously that never happened. And then another deck that we really need to take into consideration is Cyber Dragons. So, so we need good. to main both of these so we can immediately out the entire Cyber Dragon board. Yeah, no risk. No risk. High reward. High, High reward. reward. <laughs> and then uh, obviously you need the two Borrow Borrow loads. loads just in case yeah. we're trying to push a game. Yeah. And our four Dracos aren't enough as they are. Yeah, so just big bodies. And then lastly, the, probably the most, most important, important card in yeah, the side deck definitely. is Super Dream Dragon Zark because it's... It's 4K, it's got a lot of levels, and it's a yeah. Pendulum it's Fusion. Pendulum so and Fusion. Makes the oh. complete deck complete, really. Yeah. It wouldn't be the same without it. wouldn't be the same without it. I don't think I would want a game without summoning that. <laughs> so last off, shouts to the team, the Disciples. Uh, we're storming the scene. We're going to continue to do so, so just watch out for us in the regional <laughs> season.